Okay, the simulation has been finished. Now we go to graphs, rates. All right. Now we can check the injector first. There is no oil rate. There is no water production rate. We only have water injection rate. Open this drop down menu and select water injection rate. So we inject at this injection rate. So starting from 287 standard meter cube per day. All right. We set the maximum injection rate to be 500. And later, we can check also the pressure here. So the bottom hole injection pressure, first the limit, the limit 450, and the simulator gives me 450 because it can provide injection pressure of 450. Okay, and it will increase the pressure on equivalent radius. It will increase the pressure the average reservoir pressure surrounding the injector. And you can check the pressure profile by looking at this orange curve. So you see the pressure on equivalent radius increases as well as we continuously injecting water. Bottom hole pressure still continue at 450. And if you go back to the rate, you can see that the flow rate decreases why because now the if we go back to pressure now the difference between the bottom hole injection pressure and the pressure on equivalent radius keeps decreasing so it's like the reverse of drawdown so it's injection driving force the the difference between bottom hole injection pressure and pressure on equivalent radius the difference between bottom hole injection pressure and static, I mean, average reservoir pressure. The difference becomes smaller and smaller, and that will result in the decrease in production rate. You can also check the pressure at field. You see the field reservoir pressure. Okay, the field average pressure now first decreases because of production only. And after that, the average pressure increases because of the pressure maintenance, because of the water injection. Okay. So that's pressure for the injector. And what about the producer? Now it's quite interesting as well. First, the bottom hole production pressure decreases this purple color. And after that, it increases, right? It increases because of the existence of water injection. So the water injection well provide water and it, it will increase the bottom hole production pressure until it reaches to a certain point. And after that, it declines and it stabilizes. And that's also the case for pressure on equivalent radius surrounding the production well. First, it decreases because of only production. After injection, it increases until it is sort of stabilized. Now let's check the production rate at producer. First, we maintain at 100, you see 100 standard meter cube per day, but, and then it declines. And now we have water production. Previously, there was no water production yet, but now because of water injection, because of water injection, now we have water production. You see, water production. And we can also check the analytics and I will untick everything. Now, let's check the water cut. 
go to ratios, water cut at production well. So now you can also check the water cut limit. My water cut limit is 40%. And the, the current water cut still is still lower than the water cut limit. See if you go down, the last water cut is 32% or 0.32. If my water cut limit is 30%, then as I said before, the workover activity will be shutting in the well. Okay. But because my water cut limit is 40 and this limit hasn't been reached, so the well continuously production, producing. I can change the water cut limit, let's say to be 0.3, or I can also add more injection well, or I can increase the injection rate such that the water cut limit will be exceeded. And you will see that the simulator will shut in the well. Okay. All right.